string concatenation is expensive. String is immutable, so when you concatenate strings, new memory space needs to be allocated to store the resulting string. You have to create a new string and copy all the characters of the original string to it. If you perform multiple string concatenation, it leads to a series of memory allocation, which can be slow and efficient, especially in a large scale operation. For general cases, string concatenation is your only option, but for some niche cases, you can optimize this. Today, I will show you a technique, and spoiler alert, it is not string builder. To explain the problem, I have Dreamdale, a fairy adventure game. I want you to notice the wood chopping mechanism. You will see this when the character chop the wood, they are plotting text of the wood amounts. To put the plus sign before the wood amounts, string concatenation is your answer. But you can do this instead to reduce garbage allocation. Let's find out. For demonstration purpose, I have a simple character controller, and when it attacks the rock, several plotting tests will be spawned. Now, let's jump to the coding session. First, I will show you the spawn tag method. As the beginning, I will get the location, and then from that, I will create a plotting tag location with some kind of random number. And then I will instantiate a new plotting text and set the value to a random of 1 to 10. Then I will perform a simple between to move the floating text forward. Now I will show you the techniques. I will create a class and I will call it cache number. Why is this cache number? Because in here, I will create a dictionary with the key of integer and the value of string. I will call it cache plotting tag. And in the get cache methods, I will provide a parameter which is the value. First, I will check if the dictionary contains this key. If it does, I will return this string. And if it doesn't, I will create a new string, which is the string concatenation of the plus value first and then the value in a second. Then I will put those values in the dictionary and return it. So the point is that instead of creating a new string over and over again, we're going to cache this. In here, Instead of this, I will cache number dot get cache and I will put the parameter which is the sorry, I will delete this. Okay, that's good. I will put the parameter which is the random range of 1 to 10. And it doesn't have to correct a lot of string over and over again, we can cache it. If you guys know this, it is just essentially object pooling. Object pooling is not just for instantiate free flop only. There are many use cases resulting in instantiate free flop, but it's not just that. The point of object pooling is as creating a new object is very expensive. Instantiate a new free fab is expensive. And likewise, create a new string by concatenating is also expensive. And that's why we need to cache it. And you can only do that in an efficient way because it's related to a number. General string concatenation it's very complex and it's hard to do it. However, in here, floating tests often provide a string and a number. And because it relates to number, I will call it cache number. Because we can cache this and 
we use this for future use guy like this jump back to it let's try test this i can move the character and when i attack you drop there is a plotting test spawn now as i smite the rock please make sure to smash the like button and the subscribe button this is only a simple use case of this technique in the next video I will show you a lot of use guys revolving this technique so make sure to check it out so when you gonna use this technique you gonna use this when it involving concatenating a numbers and a string and similar to object pooling the string creation is called frequently but it's only it results in this limited amount for example in this guy I noticed that the plotting text of the wood amongst is only results in the 1 to 10. That's why I will cache it. You also have to take into consideration the trade-off. Because in here, we store all the string in a cache dictionary. So, there is a trade-off between memories, allocation, and garbage correction.